Good morning, folks. How are you this morning? It's Ron Bishop here from Timaru, New Zealand. And it's a wonderful day in Timaru today. The sun is shining. It's been shining every day for the last week. It's been absolutely fantastic. Now, every day I come online and I'm talking about stuff. Those who haven't, haven't, don't know me, I'm Ron Bishop. I live in a town called Timaru in the South Island of New Zealand. And I'm a professional motivational coach. And I'm doing, I'm doing all my coaching now online using videos. Uh, and it's all free. There's no charge. You don't have to go out and sit in a hall or something or listen to me speak. You can, you can watch me on video. Okay. And I'm teaching you self development skills, self motivational skills. Okay. So this morning I want to tell you about a book I read. All, everything I know I've read from books uh, and, and about personal self-development. And here's a great book I read called Mind Power. Mind Power in the 21st Century is written by John Kehoe. Now, John Kehoe sp spent three years of his life in a wood, in the woods in, in Canada. He went, and went into a log cabin and studied the power of the mind. And he, and he, and he, he developed a formula for changing the subconscious mind. He discovered that we have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. And we have to change our subconscious mind if we want to be successful. Because everything that we do, all our actions, with the words we say, the people we meet, the situation we're in now, is, is all related to our thoughts. Some people today are calling it the law of attraction. You can go online and go into Google and look uh, look up the law of attraction. There be, there be, there's dozens of people talking about the law of attraction, and the law of attraction is simply we we attract into our lives certain people and circumstances according to our thoughts, what we think. So what we think determines what happens to us in life. When I um, read self-help books, I don't just read them once. I read them several times. And last night, I was thinking about what I would say today. And, and a thought came into my mind, why don't you get out of bed? This is about three o'clock in the morning. Why don't you get out of bed and get that book, Mind Power, and start reading Mind Power? So I did. I started to read Mind Power. And I'm up, I'm up to uh, uh, chapter six at the moment. Chapters 1 and 2 talk about reality. We live in two worlds. The world of reality, which is what's happening to us in our life, and the inner world of our thoughts. What happens to us in life is a direct result of our inner world of, of our thoughts. Hold a positive thought and, you'll, and, and positive things will happen to you. Hold a negative thought in your mind and negative things will happen to you. Okay? The law of attraction, they call it. Now, one of the things I read in, the, in this book is about visualization. We have to visualize what it is we want. So many people want lots of things, but they don't really know how to get it. The book tell all the books tell us that with the law of attraction, you think about what it is you want to have happen, and you think of it in the present tense, as if, as if it is already happening now. For example, I want to travel the world with my wife Margaret, speaking to millions of people on motivation. Right? So, to do that, I have to convince my subconscious mind that I am already a professional motivational coach and I'm already traveling the world with my wife Margaret speaking to millions of people on motivation. And I do it all in my mind, not in reality, because that hasn't manifested itself yet. It's going to take a while for that to happen. But certain things are going to happen in my life. People are going to ring me up or I'm going to meet people or I'm going to finish up traveling the world with my wife Margaret speaking to millions of people on motivation. So you have to get a goal and you have to visualize it actually happening. 
Let me show you something. Do you reckon, recognize this man here? His name is Muhammad Ali. And he knocked out Sonny Liston in the first round of the first minute of the first round. On the 25th of May, 1965. How did he do it? He did it by holding a mental picture of his, in his mind of Sonny Liston lying on the floor after he'd knocked him out in the first minute. He also was a big skite. People would call him a skite because he said he was the greatest. He spoke to his subconscious mind every day and told everybody and himself that he was the greatest boxer of all time. And because of that, his subconscious mind when it got into the ring, within the first minute of the first round, he knocked out Sonny Liston. There's been a lot of books written on, on the power of the mind, the subconscious mind. And it's all, a lot of it's theory, right? But a, you cannot have reality in your life unless you do the practice. You must practice. If you want to be good at something, you have to practice. But with the power of the mind, you can actually practice without physically practicing. You can hold a mental picture in your mind every day of what it is you want to have happen. And if you do that, it'll happen. So instead of going out, um, for example, I want to be the greatest motivational teacher and preacher in the world, right? That's what I want to do. So instead of me going around trying to set up seminar, seminars, talking to people, trying to get people to come along to seminars, I'm not doing that. I'm holding a mental picture of my mind of doing that, of that happening, right? And I have to practice my affirmations. I have to tell myself over and over and over that I am the greatest, funniest, healthiest, wealthiest, motivational teacher and preacher in the world. But just saying those words like that is not going to change my subconscious mind. I have to put seeding into it. I have to put, I have to give it seeds. I have to put emotions. I have to feel as though I'm winning. I have to feel like a winner. I have to be there. I have to imagine in my mind. Now, this is what I do. This is how I practice, in front of a mirror, by it too, by the way. I'm doing this in front of a mirror, right? I'm looking at my camera, and, I'm, and there's a mirror behind it, and I'm looking at myself in the mirror. So I'm talking to myself in the mirror, and this is what I say. I feel great. I feel fantastic. Great things are going to happen to me. I feel great. I feel fantastic. I, f I feel great. I feel fantastic. Great things are happening to me today. You know why? Because I travel the world with my wife, Margaret, speaking to millions of people on motivation. Why? Because I uplift people. I inspire people. I encourage people. I'm the greatest and funniest and healthiest and wealthiest motivational teacher and preacher in the world. Nobody better than me. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. I'm the happiest and funniest and healthiest and wealthiest motivational teacher in the world. And people come from miles around to hear me speak. Because I'm the greatest. No doubt about that. Nobody better than me. So what am I doing here? I'm doing what the book tells me. Mind power. That's what, that's what John Keogh teaches. That's what he said to do. He said to say your affirmations and visualizations twice a day. In the morning, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night. But not only that, you can do affirmations as you're driving around in your car. I, when I'm driving around in my car, I'm talking to myself all the time. I'm telling myself I'm great. I'm fantastic. I'm terrific. Millions of people travel, come, to, come to hear me speak because I'm the greatest and funniest and happiest and wealthiest motivational teacher in the world. Right? Now, you, this is, here's the key. You're probably saying, Ron Bishop, you're a big skite. No, no. Here's the key. John Keogh said... You have to convince your subconscious mind. You are speaking to your subconscious mind. I'm not doing this uh, in public. I'm doing this in my office. The door is closed. No one can hear what I'm saying. 
but it's going out to you on this this machine on this um, a telephone it's a, it's a mobile phone and it's going into your lounge or wherever you are around the world right and i'm teaching you what the book says to do and the book says live your dream live it in the now we can only ever live in the now you see the past is gone nothing i can do to change the past some rough stuff's happened to me in the past there's nothing i can do to change it everything that's happened in your life there's nothing you can do to change the past right it's permanent now there's nothing you can do to change the future because you, there is no future the only time you ever have is now living in the now so when we're doing affirmations and visualizations we have to visualize it as it's already happening now so it's not me doing bragging it's me telling you what to do telling myself what to do convincing my subconscious mind my conscious mind is in my brain in my head and my subconscious mind is in my heart so we think with our head and we believe with our heart and it's what we believe that makes the difference once we get a belief it, you, it'll, you'll attract things into your life to make it happen to manifest itself okay very very simple I got a video the other day from some woman in the United States somewhere uh, who who was having this webinar. They call them webinars, which is a se which is a seminar online. So you you can ring up on the phone and everybody's on the phone at once, or, or you, you you get the link to link in link in to listen to these people. And there's a whole range of speakers going to be there. All these great gurus, these great motivational coaches are going to be there. And for the, this webinar took four hours, four hours, and and, and, they, and they expect, and it's free, you see, it's all free. You listen to them for four hours. Uh, and, and I thought, holy Moses, four hours to tell you how, how the brain works? Four hours. But anyway, here's the catch. At the end of it, they try and sell you some of their stuff, some of their videos and their books and stuff, you see. That's the catch. It's not free at all. There's no such thing as a free lunch. I can tell you right now, in five minutes, how the brain works. We, we hold a mental picture of what it is we want in our minds, right? And we do it every day by repetition, over and over and over, holding the end result in our mind. And we do it by affirmation, speaking to ourselves, speaking to our subconscious. Because once we believe something, and here's the, here's, here's the key, here's the key to success. Understand this. The subconscious mind is responsible for all your actions and what happens to you. It attracts everything into your life. So what is stored in your subconscious mind, it becomes reality. And the subconscious mind that can't tell the difference between what is real and what is imagined. I'll say that again. Your subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between what is real and what is imagined. So you can hold a mental picture in your mind of anything at all. It will bring it into your life. It doesn't care whether it's negative or positive. It just does what you teach it to do. So once you believe it, and if you repeat something over and over to yourself, you believe it. And once you believe it, it'll happen in your life. There you are. That didn't take four hours, did it? Do it tonight. Do it tonight, folks. Start affirmation. Start visualization. Start thinking about what it is you want. Write your goals down. Okay? Do it today, will you? Will you do that? Will you promise me you'll do that? I'm going to be back here tomorrow. I'm going to talk some more about this stuff. This is exciting stuff. You need to learn this stuff if you want to be successful in life. Listen, I've got Joe coming to see me this afternoon. Joe Smith. I've talked about him before on my videos, and he's coming this afternoon at 2 o'clock, and I'm going to introduce you to Joe, because I'm going to take Joe from an unemployed person to, to, to a successful businessman, and I'm going to do it online, and you'll be able to follow him. Okay? Right, right, see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye bye. How did 
to think like a winner. 31 gold, 7 silver, 8 bronze. 2 New Zealand records, 2 world marathons, 1 number 1 world ranking, 10 million metre club, and the affirmation is very simple. Rowing is easy, rowing is fun. Four gold medals, I have won.